Hello YouTube and all my fellow backyard chicken keepers. I've got a cool video, or at least I think it's cool, today to share with you. And I want to share with everybody my little automatic chicken watering system that I've got set up. Now some of you may have seen a dozen videos about chicken watering systems and automatic systems before, so this may not be particularly exciting for that reason in and of itself, but I think that you might find this pretty cool because it's a uh, it's also got something particularly special to it that I came up with and maybe somebody else has done the same thing I don't know. I haven't seen it But to solve a particular problem because if you're like me and you live in the south and I'm in Fort Worth, Texas And we're in the middle of August right now. It is brutally hot during the summer during the day and uh, We've actually had a little bit more of a mild summer this year, but nevertheless it normally gets pretty dang hot on here towards June and July and so um, of course for the obvious reasons I wanted to get a automatic watering system set up for my chickens number one I don't have to clean it every day number two I don't have to refill it number three it uh, stays clean because the chickens don't kick dirt and crap and all kinds of other stuff into it so if you maybe this is the first time you've seen something like this but I've got it hooked up to this nipple watering system now what's cool about this is first of all I've got this BPA free food grade five gallon bucket that I got at Lowe's and this is this is uh, required for this system because if you don't know if you've got a chicken uh, nipple watering system the system cannot be pressurized under the normal garden hose pressure or whatever you got it has to be at about gravity pressure because if it's not if you've got it, if you were hooked to hook this up to a garden hose pressure, these little valves on these nipples become so tight under the pressure that the chickens can't even open it. So the purpose of this bucket is to keep a supply of water at gravity pressure only. So it goes in the line and the line is not overly pressurized. I've got it hooked up with this toilet float valve so that it automatically refills and the, the valve is hooked up with a couple adapters to my also BPA and lead free earth friendly all that whatever garden hose and that might not be too particularly um, special or important to some of you but um, the way I see it what goes in your chickens goes in your eggs and what goes in your eggs goes in you and I'm trying to keep this as chemical and toxin free as possible so yeah, that basically is pretty self-explanatory with that. But what's cool about this particular system is it solves another problem that I had, which is when it gets to be about triple-digit temperatures like it has been for about the past three weeks or so, even though I've got this line in the shade underneath my coop, in, during the day, by the end of the day, the water inside this pipe is just very, very warm, if not hot. And so... I kind of think to myself, if I was a chicken and I had to sit out in the backyard in 100 degree heat all day long when I wanted to get a drink and cool off, I wouldn't want to have to drink hot water. Everybody likes cool water to drink in the heat. So to solve that problem, what I did is I also installed this little garden pond pump that I picked up at Lowe's also for about 20 bucks. I hope I don't drop my phone in the water, but it goes to this goes to this line goes out the bucket goes down here and it basically it pumps into my my nipple watering line that I've got here I've got two and I'm probably gonna add some more but what it does is then it goes out here follows that line and it comes over here and goes into my quail coop it goes in here so the quail have water and then it goes out the back right there comes out the back goes back into the bucket so what what I can do is I can easily put ice inside this thing and keep the water cool and in the shade you know if I put enough ice in it it'll last all day long and keeps the water cool and it's circulated keeps the water from getting stagnant and sitting in the pipes you know and that in and of itself may be enough to keep the water cool enough for them to drink but if that doesn't work what also I've noticed here is I don't know if you can see because of the video but I've got this little mister system set up in my quail coop underneath a little fan and that has been working phenomenally well to keep them cool I've come out here in the in the heat of the day and they're not panting 
But what it also does is because the fan and the mist is blowing on this pipe, I've noticed that it almost like refrigerates the pipe to a degree. And I come out here and the water is very cool to the touch. So because I have that circulating through here, I may not even have to add ice to the system. So basically what I have here is a completely 100% automatic, hassle-free, labor-free watering system that not only offers a fresh, clean, constant supply of water to my chickens and quail, but it also keeps it cool so I don't have to worry about them, you know, suffering from the heat by only offering them hot water. So again, this is still in the kind of the test phase and setup phase and uh, I'm probably going to modify it to make it a little bit more permanent because it seems to be working quite nicely. But I wanted to uh, share that with you all to kind of, you know, give you an idea for solving a similar problem. Hope you all enjoy. Thanks.